welcome to Health Styles Market. I'm Arliss and I'm the owner of Health Styles Market. I've owned my store for 27 years. We're located in Gillette, Wyoming, the northeast corner of Wyoming. This is the first video in a series that I'm going to do about food sensitivities, food intolerances, and what a difference that can make in your life. We're going to talk about the testing in this video and from there I'm going to do a series of videos to help you get the most benefit from your testing results. So 26 years ago, personally, I traveled to Las Vegas, Nevada to a holistic MD there and it was my first formal exposure to food sensitivities and realizing that there actually were foods that you could be eating on a daily basis that gave you really uncomfortable symptoms, um, symptoms of suffering that none of us want to go through. Um, after doing those test results with that doctor, I was devastated. I just felt like my body had betrayed me and I was pretty much, you'd say, shocked, stunned, dismayed, overwhelmed. And as time passed, I realized that the hardest part of food sensitivities for me, and I've since learned for a lot of my customers, is actually the acceptance of it. That there's actually foods that you're eating perhaps on a daily basis that are really giving you a lot of discomfort and a lot of symptoms of suffering. But once you get past that acceptance, actually making food changes isn't that difficult. And it's so rewarding because you feel so much better so quickly. So some of the common symptoms that customers may notice, um, let me backtrack just a moment. What I've learned through the last 26 years of working with customers who are getting food sensitivity testing, which is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers, is they follow a similar pattern. Um, they have a lot of um, discomfort and symptoms of complaint, things from a bloated feeling, belching, stomach pains, vomiting, nausea, um, headaches, joint pain, binge eating, cravings, excessive weight, inability to lose weight. Fatigue is a huge common symptom and complaint. Sluggishness, hyperactivity, opposite of fatigue, restlessness, lethargy, um, difficulty sleeping, difficulty staying asleep, insomnia, skin issues, poor memory, confusion, concentration. Um, in other words, the symptoms can be from head to toe and it can also include moods and emotions. So labs that do testing for food sensitivities will often say that they estimate that 95% of the population actually suffers from a um, syndrome they call toxic food syndrome. It's literally foods that you're eating on a daily basis that are just common average everyday foods and yet your body has developed a reaction to them and when you eat those you feel bad you you find you have those symptoms so we're going to talk about testing that's available and you no longer have to drive or go out of state when you live in Gillette Wyoming right here in the northeast corner of Wyoming this testing is available in our city so um, it's called a food sensitivity test and it's using IgG testing. And what that really means to you is that you're not eating this food and having a reaction within 20 minutes to two hours, like a food allergy that eventually um, can develop into anaphylaxis reactions. It's like, no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about a food that has a delayed reaction. Anywhere from two hours of after eating the food up to four days later, which is why it's really hard to figure out because you eat the food and you're still feeling fine. But when you think about eating a food at Sunday noon and you're reacting to it and feeling badly by Wednesday night so or Thursday, we don't really make that connection. Oh, it was the ice cream I ate at Sunday lunch. So IgG testing that's available here, um, it's using a lab called Alatest which is actually located in Maine. 
and the blood is drawn here with one vial of blood. They're able to test a panel of 184 foods of the most commonly eaten foods. Our local price for this IgG testing is $375. And so um, we're gonna put the information um, for contacting us and for contacting um, this if you, if you decide this is something you want to pursue and you want more information, you can contact me directly by email and my email will be listed below. Um, or you can contact our store and that information will all be listed below. And then um, check us out for video number two and um, we'll move on to going over the testing once you've got your test results back. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.